8.30 a.m. Time is flying, which it always does when you're having fun or an interesting chat. And I'm having a very interesting chat with Rob Harris from theoverberg.com right now. Rob, we're going to jump slightly. Because no problem. I know, and it's also all over your website, that you're very involved with the Patatfias in Napier this weekend. Yeah, I'm, <clears throat> I'm on the committee, and uh, my responsibility was publicity and getting the word out as well. And you're an expert at that. <laughs> well, I try, I try. And uh, things are moving, and we're cracking stuff up, more stuff up today, more videos are going up onto YouTube, which just are interviews explaining to folk a little bit more about what they can expect at the festival over the weekend. Right, so those should be quite interesting to uh, get information as to maybe to plan your day while you're there because there's going to be so much going on you yeah. don't want to suddenly find out afterwards you've missed an event you really wanted to be at. Absolutely, it's a very full program this year and uh, I mean there's always a lot going up at the school, the field, the, the marathon and the mountain bike race with all the stalls and we, we've got a huge amount of stalls this year more than last year I'm told okay which is great but there's a lot of other things going on up at the, up at the the field but a lot of folk once they've finished for example as they move away from the field we want to keep them enjoying the hospitality of Napier so we've got a lot of things that are going on around the whole town not only up at the field well like the main road I know there's lots planned isn't there for well, this year yeah if you started going through Napier yesterday you will see all the cutouts are out oh they're out already they're out okay. already um, I think just explain what you mean by the cutouts they things. are um, wooden figures uh, painted caricatures like cartoon caricatures um, which has been provided by um, Rick Gallery and Ulrich Rick and, and Rudy were involved in that where you can put your your face in the right place behind this cutout have a photo taken and you look like a turkey or a cowboy or something <laughs> like that it's great fun and it really makes the place colorful I think there's about 10 or 12 of them around the town I think so and, and I understand the plan was they were spread right up so up and down the main road? They're right up and down the main road. Most of them are in front of the, the premises that are involved in the art route, which are also, um, it's interesting for, for folk to go and see the different types of art and um, crafty things that are available in the town. Now, um, Rudy uh, was the committee member behind yeah, that. Yeah, he's organized all that, and he's done a wonderful job. And they are going to be artists in most of those premises working and actually doing things that people can can watch and ask questions. So it's questions. not just a case of walking into a gallery and seeing no. pictures or statues or pottery or something like that on display, you're actually going to see it in production. Absolutely, yeah, very much so. So there's that, um, We've there's already huge um, scarecrow type um, bales, ah, of, well. bales of hay that have been turned into characters and figures. I think you need to talk about the scarecrows, if you don't mind. Well, the scarecrows uh, were started a couple of years ago as a bit of fun, and they've developed into um, a wonderful uh, display for people to see. And this year, we're actually asking the public to vote on who they think the best scarecrow is. So that should be lots of fun. Not all scarecrows are entered in the competition. Um, the the people who've made the scarecrows can go and enter. And uh, they, they will go to um, Jeanette, she's organizing that in Napier. They, the scarecrow that is entered in a competition then gets a number attached to it. And we're asking the public to go up and down the road, take photographs, make comments and vote for the best scarecrow. And then in a couple of weeks time, after the festival is finished, um, the Napier community is going to be having a post-mortem about what happened at the festival, what was good, what can be improved on. That what should we, be a very interesting meeting. Yeah, yeah, and what we want for next year. So that, and at that meeting, we're going to be awarding the prizes for the best scarecrow. But it's a